Hey everyone, doing another review today. Something I don't usually do, but I really wanted to do one on this. Uh, it's the Vulcan Big Mac Big Max 215 from Harbor Freight. Biggest reason I work with a guy who is highly, highly, highly anti Harbor Freight. Uh, it's almost a sickness for him, and he kind of freaks out about Harbor Freight. It's kind of amusing actually. And he doesn't buy anything there, but everything there is junk. So I try to explain to him that I've got some pretty decent stuff from there. Um, but he doesn't listen. But anyways, that's that's what kind of pushed me over the edge to do a review on this, the Mig Max 215. I bought years ago, probably 20 years ago now, a Lincoln 135, 110 MIG. Loved it, worked great, zero complaints. I simply outgrew the machine. I really needed to go to a 220 volt machine. I was really pushing those 135 amps, and it seemed more often than not I was just running the machine maxed out. I do a lot of roll cage work, um, race car fabrication sort of stuff, and like an 095 wall tube, that was that was as much as that machine really wanted to do and, and produce a quality weld. So I started searching over the years for another machine, looked at Miller's and Lincoln's and everything else, and... I didn't want to spend the money, is what it really boiled down to. Harbor Freight came out with this Vulcan line, and last October, so I've had it a year now, I decided to give one a shot. Bought this, bought it with a coupon, I think I paid $640 for it. And I know they've gone up a little bit from that, but I think you can still get them for $650 with the coupon. So, I get it, hook it up. What do I dislike about this machine? That's where we'll start. And here's the list. Nothing. I dislike nothing about this machine. It does everything I want it to do. From the settings that it will automatically do for you if you just set your wire thickness and then set what you're welding and, or what your wire is and then just set your thickness. It's really, really close. Uh, nine times out of ten, it works fine for me. On 110 volt, you can do almost 3 16 as far as the auto set goes. Uh, once you go to 220, you can peg it. Manual, obviously, it's what you want as far as speeds and feeds and whatever. Everybody understands that. Uh, things to point out that really stuck out to me when I bought this machine. Years ago, back in high school, we had a Chicago Electric flux cord basic 79.99 Chizo MIG welder and the gun the cord the ground clamp all that stuff was extremely terrible um, the cable was very stiff you couldn't move it it was just Jap or a Chinese at its worst I mean it was bad we never really even used it so I get this one ground cable it's nice it's flexible the t uh, torch cable it's nice it's flexible the actual torch or gun itself it's a nice piece it's it's online with a lot of the other brands you know is it a three thousand dollar miller welder no it's not yeah, am i happy with it absolutely the power cable it's a nice you know you can actually coil the cable it's a nice cable something to point out i have a lincoln square wave tig right there this is another cable that came with the Lincoln run it off 110. You can see how stiff and cheesy this cable is. I like these cables that'll roll up like this. Um, this Lincoln cable obviously was packaged. Uh, you, know, you can see how it would have been packaged and tied together. Over a year of owning that, it's still never relaxed. It's still stiff. This one, this is the way it came packaged. Same thing. Um, so back over to here. We've got the ground clamp. It's got a decent ground clamp. Is it the Lincoln ground clamp? Yeah, it's identical actually. If you look at this one, and then we'll swing over and look at the Lincoln one, they're the same thing. So obviously they're copying Lincoln, which right, wrong, indifferent, however you want to put it. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video was to talk about how this thing welds, which is excellent. Um, it does come set up so you can run a spool gun if you want, weld aluminum. I have not done that. Um, I have the TIG to do my aluminum projects. Although I am getting to the point where I would like a spool gun for some of the stuff I am doing. The regulator that comes with this. 
is a decent piece. Um, gives your bottle pressure, line pressure, all that stuff, and that's it's a nice piece. It's not junk. Uh, is it the Lincoln one? No, it's a little different. Um, that's the Lincoln one over there. Uh, they're similar, but they are different regulators. Uh, nice hose going to the welder. We'll go in here and take a look at the feeder. It's a nice setup here. You can do a quick change on it. That just flops out. It comes with another set of drives depending on the wire size you're using. I run 30 thousandths wire on basically everything. Um, came with a few extra tips and stuff like that. I simply haven't used them. I buy my stuff from the welding supply store and well really I kind of forgot about that even being in there. Typical chart and whatever else but overall the machine is very good. It's lived up to its expectations and then some. It's a heavy machine, probably weighs 70 pounds. So as far as the portability goes, um, it's not as portable as other 110 machines. Um, but it's not bad. It's I've brought it to other places to weld, you know, and I take it off the cart and throw it in the pickup and it does what it needs to do well. Um, so certainly if you're looking for a Welder the Vulcan MIGMAX 215, in my opinion, is a great choice.